Hi babies, welcome back to another Monday episode. What is on the menu for this week? For today, I thought I would talk to you about one of the most common sex positions, which is obviously doggy style. Even though with it being a really easy to understand, it can come with a little bit of complications, such as pain, which I wanted to talk about five different things that can go wrong in doggy and how we can fix them by making them pleasurable and comfortable. Because obviously we are not here to experience non-pleasurable pain, right? But first, before we get started, if you are new here, welcome to my channel. I'm your host, Miranda, aka Pleasure Baby, and this is where I help you separate into your pleasure, stripping through all those taboo topics, making them not so taboo by what we do here at, like, talk about them so that together we can help you find your best place of pleasure. All right, let's get started on what you guys actually came here for, and it's how to fix that doggy style and make it a hella 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 pleasurable. So when we think about doggy, a lot of the time we think of your partner on all fours and you grabbing them by the waist and just drilling and slamming them. And that can be really uncomfortable. However, fear not, there are definitely different techniques that can help you not experience that amount of pain or discomfort that you're experiencing. Lucky for us, this is a super easy to modify. So let's start off with the first thing that can go wrong. And it's when the penetration just feels way too deep. You know, that cervical cramping, that deep pain, it kind of makes you feel sick. And for the penis owners out there, it's that exact same feeling when you get kicked in the balls. It sucks, it's uncomfortable, and nobody likes it. Well, that's not necessarily true. Some people do like the ball crushing king. So doggy style is one of those positions that gives you a fantastic view if you are the giver. However, it is one of those positions that allows a much more deeper penetration. For those of you that don't know, that deep penetration doesn't feel so good if you're not super aroused and turned on. Not only do you get wet during arousal, but you're your vagina actually expands and elongates. So definitely if you're planning on doing doggy, this is not the time to cheap out on foreplay. Another thing you don't wanna miss out on is the lubrication because the lubrication allows a much more pleasurable glide, helps stop that friction, and allows for a softer, more pleasurable penetration. If your partner is just slamming into your cervix over and over again, don't be afraid to tell them to say, go more shallow, less deep, take it back. But keep in mind, you as the receiver can also control the depth of penetration. For instance, have your partner be the one to stay still and you do the slide and the gliding motion. Or up and down, back and forth, or even circles. Another great way to stop that deep penetration is actually bringing your legs closer together. This will bring your butt cheeks closer together, closing off a little bit of that view, but allowing your butt cheeks to grab some of that deeper thrusting before it actually penetrates. My last tip for the too deep of penetration is actually to deepen the arch in your back. That will direct the force of the penetration to the more sensitive part of your vaginal wall, such as your G-spot. Now to combat what we just talked about, let's talk about when the penetration isn't deep enough. Now there are different things that you can use such as tools like a strap that goes underneath your pelvis and has handles. So instead of your partner grabbing onto your hips for penetration, this allows them to grab onto the handles. This allows your partner to grab and gain more leverage. You can also do this position standing where your legs are spread apart and your butt cheeks are also spread apart too. That allows your partner to have the ability for a deeper penetration and overall just better access. God, I can't even speak anymore. What the fuck is going on? The third most common complaint is the lack of support in the belly region. It could be because you are not enjoying the way that your belly is hanging during the doggy style position or for the fact that you just don't feel supported or your abdomen isn't strong enough to keep it from your back arching too much where you are starting to experience low back pain. Now there are two fixes you can do for this. One, you could either stack a bunch of pillows underneath your pelvis to give you that help up and prop you in a good position and also stop your belly from hanging or moving. 
or you could lean over the bed, the couch, a chair, anything that you can find to kind of give you that belly support. Now, if you're looking for something that is a little bit more comfortable, and if this is a position that you do enjoy and you want to frequent a little bit more, I suggest investing in something like a proper sex pillow or wedge to give you that support that you are needing. Now, I had talked about the belly strap in the last one with the handles on the side. That could also be used to secure your belly in the right position that makes you feel comfortable as well. But like I said, there are way cheaper alternatives that you can use in the bedroom tonight. Now, another one that I also hear all the time is that doggy style is impersonable. You're just like, I want to feel more love, more connection. That doesn't always need to be done through eye contact. There's the caressing of the erogenous zones. There's a reaching forward and stroking the clitoris. There's playing with the hair. There's pulling the hair. There's spanking. There's multiple different things that you can do to show that your partner and you are engaged. Now, one of the awesome things about doggy is that you're not just forced to be on all fours. They can still remain in you and you can still come up and give them a kiss. Also, if eye contact is your thing, look over your shoulder. Check it out. See what the hell they're doing. Make eye contact that way. You can make it more personal. It just depends on you and you engaging with your partner. So what about if there is a height difference, meaning your partner is substantially taller than you or you are taller than them? What can we do to bring your penis and your vagina down to the exact same level? A lot of the time, this can be fixed with your partner standing and you kneeling on the bed or completely bent over the bed and and hanging off. This can also be done with the liberator wedge that I was talking about. Another great way to modify this doggy style position is actually you laying flat on your belly, your partner inserting, and then you slowly raising your butt up to hit that exact position that you are looking for. That is exactly when you can slide in that wedge or that pillow to give you that little extra boost in your pelvis so that you're hitting the right angles. Now the last common complaint that I hear is that they're not getting enough stimulation. So we know Know that doggy can be a little bit less on the clitoral stimulation side and more on the internal. Now that doesn't mean that you're less likely to climax in the position, it just means you need to be able to navigate and figure it out. So what are you and your partner willing to do? Now if your partner has an inspector gadget arms, they can reach in front and actually stroke your clitoris that way, or you can opt out and do the three-legged dog and stroke your own clit that way. However, they do make awesome wands, awesome vibrators, different toys that you can use to stimulate your clitoris while still remaining in engaged. Another great option is that your booty hole is right there too. So we know that there's tons of nerve endings in the anus, so you can opt in for a butt plug, for a vibrator, or just some light, gentle stimulation around the anus. Now, maybe if those cards aren't in the table for this evening in the bedroom tonight, maybe they will be eventually, because I definitely suggest trying butt stuff out before you knock it. Just remember, lubrication is a must in this position, and is a must when you're doing anything with anal play. But if you are looking for a sensory overload and just for a much better doggy style, try to use that vibrator or try to dabble into a little bit of butt plug stuff because when you put a butt plug in and you have a penis or a strap inside of you, it just hits differently. The anus, the way it's lined up with the vaginal canal allows a little bit more pressure to take place, giving you overall stimulations on all nerve endings. I mean, it could be like a trifecta. All right, babies, that is all that I have for you this evening. Now I hope any of these tips were able to help you out making your doggy style a little bit more pleasurable and a little bit less painful. Now if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because you never want to miss a video coming out every single Monday and every single Thursday and if you're into short form content and you want to check me out on other platforms head over to my Instagram and my TikTok where you will see much more of me and if you're into seeing what's going on in my daily life my Instagram stories will definitely be the place for you. Now if you have any questions or comments that you want to leave drop them down below or head over to my IG DMs or where I will answer you there. All right, babies, I will see you on Thursday for another juicy episode. Enjoy your doggy.